Transforming these white walls was really my first step, and paint is the easiest and cheapest way to do that. I chose a rich putty gray with lots of green undertones. It makes for a cozy and inviting backdrop to start filling this room with furniture. For the windows, I did a mix of save and splurge. The homeowner didn't want to lose their existing vertical blinds, so we've kept them and no money spent there. However, I did bring in these great ready-made panels. Their inverted pleats and fullness really helped bring this room up a notch. I've added this natural sizal area rug for only $130. It helps to define this zone, and by bringing in this side table and armchair, it's now a great place to read. I found both these pieces on clearance for 50% off. Not only were they a great deal, I think they were made for this place. I've reused a number of the homeowner's existing pieces. Just because we're redecorating doesn't mean we have to totally start from scratch. The dresser, side table lamp, and this great rocking chair were all great pieces. So instead of just replacing them all, we've reused them and repositioned them to save money. The bed is the biggest transformation in here, and now an obvious focal point. I've gone bold with this great canopy-style bed. It's actually from Ikea, so it's inexpensive, yet very elegant and quite sleek. Now this is my favorite part. Instead of a traditional headboard, I've opted to hang two ready-made draperies from the canopy's top rail. I love the look because it has lots of texture and color. To make it functional and still add comfort, I've added these two oversized pillows. Now this fabric was a bit of a splurge, but because we only need enough to make two pillows, we don't have to spend a lot of money to get big impact. The lighting in this bedroom has really changed. I've added a floor lamp on the opposite side of the bedroom to balance out the light. It's also a great trick if you'd like two lights on either sides of the bed but may not have enough room for a proper side table and lamp. This light actually started off polished nickel, but I've painted it a matte black to really work with the space. I've also added this large scale console table at the end of the bed. The homeowner actually already owned this piece and was using it in their office, but I think it works better in the bedroom. Redecorating can also mean repurposing, and that costs nothing. And finally, for some additional storage, I've added this vintage trunk that I actually bought for 25 bucks at a yard sale. I love the look of it, and the homeowner can fill it with off-season clothing. It's the perfect piece to finish off this room.